Hello! Today we will be solving this problem called exponentiation. So our task is to efficiently calculate values a to the b modulo a billion and seven. And focus here on efficiently because this seems like a straightforward problem but it is not that straightforward. So we will have to answer n independent test cases and for each test case we will be given two integers a and b up to a billion and we have to calculate a to the b modulo a billion and seven so let's go to the drawing board and see how we can solve this problem so to reiterate what we just said we need to calculate a raised to some power b and this modulo some prime that i would call mod here and as we saw before we need to use a modulo here because this will grow pretty quickly so the first idea that comes to mind is to use some built-in functions since we are computing the power of some number here we are already aware of uh, functions of built-in functions that perform power or exponentiation so why not use them and here we are talking about the function pow or pow l which deals with long doubles and has a better precision than this but both these functions are very bad in computing uh, powers when we want high precision these two functions use doubles and long doubles so they will use precision pretty quickly and to illustrate that i have a program here so in order to illustrate that i created a program here and all what i'm doing is computing the powers of three two ways the first way is using the pow function and the second way is using the naive approach here so i'm declaring this function that will compute b the base raised to some exponent power and all what I am doing is that for each instance of i less than exponent, I will multiply my results that I initialized with one with my base. And at the end, I will return my results. And these are long longs and I am calculating the power without any modulo. And here I am inputting the exponent through the standard input. And this way I can test for different exponents. So if we go ahead and compile, we can calculate powers of 3 so for example if we calculate 3 to the third power we'll get 27 no issue there and this will go on for a while for example 3 to the 25th power no issues there but notice here uh, if i want to calculate 3 to the 34th power i will get my first discrepancy here notice that the power function gave me 70 while the function i implemented myself gave me 69 and this is the actual right answer we can check for it using python for example so 3 raised to the 34th is actually ends in 69 so we can see here that the pow function is not very reliable at all and on top of that we will need to calculate that huge answer that will certainly overflow in the beginning before taking the modulo so what we get from this is that we should just forget about these functions and never use them in the context of competitive programming unless there is some use case that is really pretty basic and what we also got from this is that we saw a way of approaching this problem naively and that would be using the following manner so as we saw if we want to calculate a to the b modulo some prime number all what we would need is to initialize some value to one and iterate through all the values from zero up to our exponent b and for each time we just multiply our results time our base a in this case and we just take the modulo here because we have to and at the end we will just return the result but a word about complexity here the complexity of this algorithm will be the time this for loops goes on and it will go on for precisely b iterations so our complexity will be all of b 
if we consider multiplication to be done in O of 1. And since B here can be up to a billion, then this is beyond our threshold of 10 to the 8th. And basically, if we calculate some value to a billionth, then that would take about 10 seconds to be executed. So that's why this will not work and will TLE. So we need to find a better approach. So in order to see how we could improve our approach here, Let's try to work out some examples. So let's say we want to calculate 3 raised to the 40 power. So this would be equal to 3 times 3 times 3 and so on times 3. And we will have to do this 40 times. And here we would have 39 multiplications. And the question here, can we do any better? Can we get this result by performing a number of multiplications less than 39? And the answer is that we indeed can. So if you notice, 3 raised to the 40 power is equal to 3 raised to 20 plus 20. And as we know, a raised to b plus c is equal to a raised to the bth power times a raised to the cth power. So this would be equal to 3 raised to the 20th power times 3 raised to the 20th power. And instead of computing this, we could uh, approach it in a recursive manner. So we could ask ourselves again, what is 3 raised to the 20th power? So 3 raised to the 20th power is 3 to the 10th plus 10 and again this would be equal to 3 times to the 10th power times 3 to the 10th power and I am evenly splitting this uh, exponent here so I could reduce both exponents as fast as possible so instead here I could have split 40 to 1 plus 39 and I would have gotten 3 to the first times 3 to the 39th power but I wouldn't have reduced the complexity of my problem much because I would have only went from 40 to 39, which is not uh, that good. So the ideal here is to have the maximum of both these powers as small as possible. And that can be achieved by splitting this value in the middle. So let's carry on. Now we need to calculate 3 to the 10th, so we will perform that in the similar manner. So 3 to the 10th is equal to 3 to the 5th plus 5. And this would be equal to 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 5th. And again, we don't know what 3 to the 5th is, so we will calculate it again. So 3 to the 5th is 3 to the... Here I'm gonna... Spl I cannot split 5 evenly, so I'm just gonna write it as 2 plus 2 plus 1 because I will have a 1 left over here. And that's as as uh, large as I can have because the any exponent modulo 2 will be either 0, like in this case, or 1. So I will divide this by 2 and it's gonna give me these two values and I'm gonna have an additional 1 here if the exponent is odd. So this would be equal to 3 to the second power times 3 to the second power times 3. And lastly, I would need to calculate this 3 square again. So it would be equal to 3 uh, raised to 1 plus 1, which is just 3 times 3. And now let's go back. So in order to calculate 3 square, I would need to perform one multiplication, namely this one and I'll get 9 here, so this is equal to 9. So I can go ahead here and replace these 3 squares with 9s. And this way I can calculate 3 to the 5th using 2 multiplications here, so I'm using 2 additional multiplications here, and this will be equal to 243. So I can go ahead and substitute 3 to the 5th here with 243. I'm just gonna call this alpha here. So here, 3 to the 10th will become alpha times alpha. So in order to calculate this, I will need to perform this additional multiplication here. So I, um, I performed 4 multiplications so far. 
and let's say that this would be equal to beta so I can move on here and replace 3 to the 10th again with beta so this becomes beta and this becomes beta as well and to get 3 to the 20th I will have to perform this multiplication again so now, now I'm at 5 multiplications and say this gives me gamma and at the end I will replace 3 to the 20th with gamma and I will get the answer I was looking for using one additional multiplication so in total I performed 6 multiplications which is way better than 40 uh, but how is this 6 related to 40? so as we can see here how many lines did we have here? we had 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 but why did we get 5? If we think about it, we got 5 because 40 is between 32 and 64. And 32 is 2 raised to the 5th power, whereas 64 is 2 raised to the 6th power. So basically, we have precisely log base 2 of 40 many lines here. Because we will need to go from whatever exponent we started with, to 1 here so we would stop and each time we divide by 2 we actually reduce the exponent of 2 here so here we started with 40 which was uh, let's say which was almost equal to, to, to the 6th so each line here we divide this by 2 so this will become to the 2 to the 5th 2 to the 4th and so on so we will require log n log base 2 n uh, of lines or rather log base 2 of b if b is our exponent here and each line here we perform either one multiplication or two multiplications here so in our worst case scenario we will have we will get uh, odd powers each time we divide by 2 and that's why our total complexity here will be 3 times log base 2 of b of our exponent here and this is asymptotic to all of log base 2 of b so now our complexity is so optimal that we can compute exponents up to 10 to the 9th or even 10 to the 18th and this technique is known as binary exponentiation and it is so useful that we will include it in our template as soon as we code this problem and it can be extended to many problems here so we want to calculate a to the b in the classical sense here but a does not have to be a number it can be a matrix for example and using this idea of binary exponentiation we can extend this concept of computing powers really quickly to matrices or to polynomials for example as you know you may want to calculate x plus 1 raised to the thousandth power or so and we could do that using binary exponentiation as well so let's check out our code so this is our program we will start by reading the number of cases we will need to answer then we will look through them so we will read the base and exponent and all what we will do is output uh, the modular binary exponentiation of that base raised to that exponent and now we will need to implement this function so it's gonna be a function that returns long long and it takes in an int that represents the base and another int that represents the exponent so we'll have a base case here which would be when the exponent is equal to zero and as you know anything raised to the zeroth power is equal to one and if you did not stumble upon a proof for that uh, before let me show you why so let's prove that a raised to the zeroth power is actually equal to one so a raised to the zeroth power would be equal to a raised to the third power minus three because i didn't do anything here three minus three is just equal to zero so this would be equal a raised to the third power times a raised to the negative third power 
And as you know, a raised to the negative b is equal to 1 over a raised to the b. So this would be equal to a raised to the third power times 1 over a raised to the third power. So I can multiply across, so this becomes a raised to the third power over a raised to the third power, which is just 1. So that's for our base condition there. And then I will compute the result, which is equal to the modular binary exponentiation of base raised to the exponent divided by 2. Because my answer here will be either equal to result times result, because the exponent over 2 times the exponent over 2 can be added together and they will just give me the exponent back and that would be the case where the exponent is even and if the exponent is odd I would have to multiply all that times base so that's what I'm gonna implement here if the exponent is odd then I'm gonna return the result times result and I am taking the modulo here because I need three modulo, I mean I need two modulos here because if I perform the, this multiplication straight away this can be up to a billion and so can this so this is gonna be up to 10 to the 18th and this also can be up to 10 to the 9th so if I multiply everything this result can be up to 10 to the 27th which is larger than the max of long long so I can't do that so I need to take this first modulo first so this becomes up to 10 to the 9th and then when I multiply it by something that can be as large as 10 to the 9th there won't be any issues there and the other case is when the exponent is even then I will just have to multiply the result by itself and that's pretty much it let's go ahead and submit So that worked, thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.